Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, William Ruto was in Kisi and Nyamira County, and at the same time, he had assigned Rigathe Gashagwa to take over control and leadership of Kenya Kwanza campaign in Mount Kenya region to be specific, Kiambu County. So Rigathe and the entire team were in Kiambu. And it emerged that former governor William Kabogo and the current senator Kimani Wamatangi, who is running for the governor on UDA ticket, had a direct confrontation in public. And even there was a lot of disruption from the supporters. We did that video here. If you missed it, I'm going to put a link here. After that incident, Moses Kuria, who is also running for Kiambu governor on Tujibebe party, not Tujibebe, Chama Chakazi party, he, he, he went on, on his, his Facebook to promise Kenya that he's going to release a press statement. So Kenyans have been waiting to hear what Moses Kuria is going to say because remember Moses Kuria was in that campaign also. Na pia wakiongozo na rigadha gashagwa mwenyewe. So all of the three gubernatorial candidates in Kiambu in Kenya Kwanza were there. So later Moses Kuria shared his views concerning that event. The final thing is that, is that he has closed the comment section so you cannot drop your comment. I, want, I was very eager to read the comments there. But he has closed the comment section. Though if you go through that story, you learn that Moses Kuria is exposing William Samuel Ruto's plan in the Mount Kenya region. He has exposed how Ruto is using the two to get the vote and at the same time trying to block them. I want us to go through that story and then after that, we are also going to give our views on the same issue. This is what Moses Kuria is saying. What happened in the Hasla Express caravan in Kiambu today is regrettable. The ugly alteration between Governor Kabogo and Senator Matangi is irregrettable. I will not apportion the blame to any of the two Gentlemen, but I can relate with the Governor Kabogo's pain. Hmm? For three days, the UDA leadership has been meeting UDA MP and MCA candidates to plot how to embarrass Governor Kabogo and myself during the tour. Hmm. MCS and MPs who associated with us were warned of dire, of dire consequences. This chicanery is not healthy for our flagling alliance. It is imperative that we live with not only the letter but also the spirit of the Kenya Kwanza Alliance. Otherwise, it will be tantamount to politics of conmanship and deceit. We will be raising these concerns with our alliance principles as provided for in the alliance instrument. That is Moses Kuria for you. Now, it is clear in Moses Kuria's post that he's putting the allegation of blame to some of the leaders in the UDA party. It might not be William Samai Ruto, but someone there in Mount Kenya region. There's also a political lesson for Moses Kuria and then William Kaboko to learn from this incident, if what Moses Kuria is saying is something to go with. And that is what we want to analyze here. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once we release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, the truth of the matter is that in Kenya Kwanza, we have only three political parties that came together to form that coalition. ANC party, the owner of Kenya Kwanza coalition. We have Ford Kenya party, Yamawetangula, and we have William Samuel Ruto with his UDA party. 
these are the founding members and these are the only political parties that have signed that agreement on, in that coalition. Most of the na chama chakazi, Tujibebe party, and all those other ones, the STP. They have no an agreement with the Kenya Kwanza coalition. They only have an agreement with the UDA party. And that's why you see Moses Kura is saying that they are going to raise that issue with their principles. Who are these principles? There are only three. William Ruto, Musalia Mdabadi, and Senator Wetangula. So Kabogo, with his party, is not being treated as a principal. Moses Kuria, with his party, is not being treated as a principal. Even Mangi Kiyunjuri, he is not. So it is clear that Kuria and Kabogo are unwanted people in Kenya Kwanzaa. This was a clear indication and a message to these two. They are not needed in Kenya Kwanzaa as far as their campaign is concerned in Kiambu. Remember, Kuria and Kabongo have interest in Kiambu governorship. Ruto has planted his candidate there, Kimani Wamatangi. Nasasa Regarding Gashagwa, Ameambiwa, you have to deliver that seat. That's why you see now, regarding and the entire team, according to Moses Kuria, they organize through their, their candidates, members of parliament, MCS, to mobilize for people for specifically one good reason. And they use three days to mobilize, to embarrass Kabogo, and Moses Kuria by heckling them. So it means Moses Kuria was privy to this information. He was talking about three days. It means he was aware. And that's why he had to play smart so that he's not caught up into this bitter exchange. But again, if you look at William Kabongo, he had his supporters around him who are also heckling Kimani, in as much Kimani supporters were also heckling. So it means he was aware and he also organized from his side to rebuttal the team. So one message for Moses Kuria and William Kabogo. They are not needed. They are not wanted. Ruto does not need them in Kenya Kwanzaa. And they was read a lot before they joined. When Ruto insisted that, insisted that he will not go into a coalition with any political party, they should have associated themselves with Raila and President Uru Kenyatta in Azimio la Umoja. Today they will be happy campaigning in Kiambu County. They did not do that. They never saw the red alert. But now it is emerging that Ruto was very serious. He did not want any other political party to emerge from Mount Kenya region and supersede UDA party. That's why through the Gazaga Shagwe, he's organizing for heckling of these two. UDA party has, trying, has been trying to associate ODM with the heckling and the disruption. But what has happened today? It has again exposed together Gashagwe and the team on how disruptive they can go. To what extent they can go to disrupt even one of their own in their own coalition. So if Ruta has been calling ODM people goons, then what happened in Kiambu are and they goons also. Why heckling? So it means Ruto and the team, he has a leadership of goons organizing for goons to heckle others. Wakiongozona is running mate.
That is the current situation. So there is a lesson here for Moses Kuria. Even when they realize that Ruto is not signing an agreement with them, in fact, he told them after the election, they will have post-election agreement. After they have won their seat, is when Ruto will reconsider if he need to sign an agreement with them. As of now, they don't have an agreement. That's why they have to take their complaint to Musalia, Wetangul, and Root. They don't have an agreement. So that was read a lot. They, once Ruto refused to sign an agreement with them, as a Kenakanda coalition, Ile and Wetangul, what are signing, and Root have signed up. They should have distanced themselves from this Kenakwanza coalition. They refused. So Ruto is going to use every means to fight these two. And remember, before they finish their end fight, James Nyora is waiting for them. The current governor of Kiambu. He's waiting for them. I don't know if this fight is healthy for this team. I don't know if it is health because their opponent is waiting for them. So who is benefiting from this fight? Is it Ruto or Uhuru Kenyatta's candidate? Are you believe? Again, another issue that I learned from this scenario is that Ruto is looking for a way to politically finish Moses Kuria and again finish William Kabongo. Ruto was not happy when Moses Kuria went further to form Chama Chakaz. He was not comfortable with that. But because he did not want to go, he did not want Moses Kuria to go. Remember, Moses Kuria Unajua is a populist politician. Nimutu wa hype. So he did not want him to go because he could have gone with numbers. That's why he was delaying him around to this level. Again, he did not want William Kabogo to go. He delayed him around. But he had a plan to finish them after staying with them for some time. And Ruto is doing this using regarding the shabu. There have been never chaos witness in Kiambu during Kenakwanza rallies. But why is it that it is happening only when the Gaza Gashagwe has gone there alone as part of the top leadership of Kenya Kwanza? It means he is playing game there. And to me, all of this fight, since they have opened a lot of fight in Kenya Kwanza, you know, when you, do, when you do that, you will lose the target. Wewe ulikuwa unawinda, dovu, na sasa, na pita, you go for that. Your focus should be on the elephant and not the sungura, mwanyana pita. Why follow the rabbit? So, they are now focusing on the rabbit, but what they are forgetting is that they are giving chance to Raila, Amolo, Odinga, and Mother Karua. All of this fight can be good if it continues. And Raila, Mother Karua are going to tap into the undecided voters. Because when you are disorganized, no one will look into you. Into you. But if you are well organized, people will follow you. As of now, Azimio is more organized compared to Kenya Kwanza in Mount Kenya region. So, that is the current situation we are having now. If Kuria and Kabogo are not careful, they will be finished politically by William Ruto. Because Ruto does not need any other political party to emerge in the Mount Kenya region. He don't need competition. Ruto hates competition. And he is not ready for that. They should have been aware. They should have been informed. I don't know what, I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.